Tonight, homeless encampments just 30 feet from a playground. Neighbors say they've had enough. CBS 8's Brian White working for you tonight in City Heights to find out who's responsible for cleaning up that park. With homeless camps here and trash and uh, drug dealings, we can enjoy this park. Neighbors here in City Heights in the Castle community fed up with the encampments around their neighborhood park. This is very frustrating. It's, it's shown a total neglect. This encampment you see here is very close to the children's playground here at the Central Avenue Mini Park. This encampment uh, has been here for in excess of a year. Right now it is kind of expanded and it has also um, resulted in the fence being cut. This park connects to a pedestrian bridge that goes over the I-15 freeway. I took a look and found more encampments there too. Oh, this is terrible. I can't even walk across the bridge to go to the senior center because I feel unsafe. They've reported the situation to their District 9 council person, Sean Elo Rivera, as well as the mayor's office, and they've put it on Get It Done. We're just tired. We're, we're really, really tired of this going on and not getting the response that we need. This park has been in the news before. I checked. Last year, a 66-year-old woman was stabbed to death while she was exercising here, though there's no evidence that the attacker was unhoused or that he was linked to any of these Encampments. Our green spaces in City Heights are very limited and very sacred, and this just compromises the spaces for our youth and our families. If you take a look here, the encampments on the other side of this fence are technically on Caltrans property running alongside the freeway, which would make it their responsibility to clean up. So I reached out to them. Caltrans told me they've done removals out here before. They're going to get out here again next week to deal with this situation. I hope that this is resolved immediately. We also have a maintenance program alongside of it that curtails this type of problem from becoming an ongoing problem. We're going to stay on top of this story. Working for you in City Heights, Brian White, CBS 8.